the world of Walt Disney, Disneyland and Disney's music. The scene is Main Street, USA. It's a small world, all right, so what's to stop you coming here to California on a flying visit to Disneyland to see this magic kingdom for yourself? See Disneyland, people say, and you've seen America. America as it was at the turn of the century, as it will be at the turn of the next one, and as it palpably is today. California has suddenly become the world's most hectic tourist center. And eight million people a year come flocking from every corner of the world to Disney's $100 million dream in action. To ride from the ghost town of Rainbow Ridge, for instance, on a mine train that will take you back to the pioneer days and on to tour the great North American wilderness. This is a potted tour of America's national parks, recreated here with imagination and great authenticity. You see waterfalls like these in Glacier National Park up in the Rocky Mountains. And you will see scenes like this in Florida's swampy Everglades. Here is the living desert of Arizona, as it still is today. Now we go on to Yellowstone National Park, where Old Faithful, the famous geyser, blows her top. But of course, Main Street is the hub of this happy kingdom, and Pluto is there to remind you who it was that dreamed up all this color and fun. Not to mention Goofy. Now close your eyes and you'll see Sleeping Beauty's Castle. This is Fantasyland, where the storybook fairy tales take life-size shape. Here you can fly with Peter Pan or see the Seven Dwarfs Diamond Mine. This is a staggering place. Ten miles away as you're driving here, you see a mountain that looks just like the Matterhorn. You get nearer and you say, yes, it is the Matterhorn. They've reproduced in scale detail the peak of this famous mountain, where Fantasyland and Tomorrowland meet. The monorail betokens this Tomorrowland, which can give you a ride into the heart of an atom in a boat shaped like a microscope, or if you prefer it, a trip to the moon. Here you're in a fairground that shows you not America, but the universe, which makes you feel that the planet we live on really is a tiny little place. In this small world, you visit a hundred countries, with Walt Disney dolls in their national costumes making you feel at one with the whole human race. And you come out to see a submarine in which you can take an underwater cruise through liquid space and see giant clams in tropical seas and the denizens of the deep. Come up for breath now and see new things that Disneyland has to offer because it keeps growing. Walt Disney said it would go on growing as long as there was imagination left in the world. Here's a flower market more colorful than nature herself could contrive. Flowers are fundamental and take us back to our origins, as in a way does Disneyland's reconstruction of old-time New Orleans as it was a hundred years ago, with its narrow byways and its lace iron railings. This little corner of this small world is Disneyland's Dixieland.
it is from this elegant starting point that you can set out on a trip through the river of America, which is the Mississippi, Colorado and Missouri rolled into one. Stand by and see what life was like when you were waiting for the Robert E. Lee. We mustn't linger, so forget America and get ready for Disneyland's jungle trip through Africa and Asia. Because here, it's a small enough world to allow us that. indeed for them. This is a silly symphony out in the open air and we're all dancing for sheer joy. Mm -hmm. 